Hello Rita, hello Polly, what's hello, happening hello. here? How are you? Oh, I sound like a fog horn. A fog horn? Yeah, you're saying. Such a bit. Mm -hmm. Chalula thank you. Yeah. Lila. You got a bit of a cold now. Oh, yeah. I feel fine, it's, I just sound like a fog horn. Seems every time I catch up with you, you've got a cold. Every time, yes. She's Is that from wearing ladies' her. clothes? She's got a frog in her throat. A frog. She's a little, she, Polly's a little bit sicky, she's a little bit under the weather, but she's alright, she's fine. And I appreciate you talking to us tonight, even though you are feeling it's not a little so much better. talking as croaking. Really. Well, croaking at us, that's fine. Yes. We don't mind a bit of croaking. Yes. So, this is your pick a purse night. What's this going on? Pick a purse, yes. Um, this is where I, I steal purses from, from every Melbourne drag queen. Ah! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so it, it's that's not the first time my purse has been stolen here. <laughs> <laughs> it was an inside job. Um, it was like Kim Kardashian. Yes. Yeah. Um, inside job. So Pick a Purse is uh, based on a little uh, game show called It's in the Bag from New Zealand um, and I just thought uh, we played a sort of a pub game version of it yonks ago in New Zealand and I thought uh, when the guys here asked me like you know we'd love you to do a Thursday night I was like I don't want to do drag bingo. No that's been, that's been done to death. That's drag death. And, yeah. and there's already a trivia night here and I was like well what else can I do that would make it really different that no one else is doing? And I thought, um, I thought I'll bring back um, Pick a Purse. It's a bit of camp for you. No, I have a guest. So, excuse me. Different, so, different guests every week. Different guests every week. Yes. Yep. But you two have known each other for years, haven't you? Oh, yes. Oh, are you mother, daughter? Or we are mother and daughter. And daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The camp is here. People think we look alike, but when you actually see us together, we look nothing alike at all. No, but you could be mother it's and daughter. Actually, you know what it is? It's a similarity in style, I think. Yes. And performance. The embracing of happiness. You've got a hell of a lot more energy than me, though. Really. I mean, I just... Yeah. How long have you been in Australia, Polly? Too long. That's what everyone says, apparently. Uh, ten years now. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I still don't have a fucking tuna rama. A what? A tuna rama. What? Brett Willis, take note. Oh, a tuna rama. I thought you meant like. She the, wants a fucking tune. I thought you meant like the festival in Port Lincoln where they no. no. celebrate no. tuna. No. It doesn't interest oh. us at all. We want like cartoons of us. Yes. That's what we want. Yes. Yeah, no, I've never had one. Well. have a poly tuna rama. They could actually just like put my head onto her body and it would be fine. There you go. Change the hair from going like that way to that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, Done. hopefully Brett is watching this and no, hearing your call, your desire to be tuned. This is a bit Carol Brady the hair, isn't it? It is a bit. No. <laughs> it's my taxi hair. Yeah. Or my Uber hair. Now so I can't be fucked here. I normally see you hanging around with Christina Andrews. Where's she? She's in New York at the moment. Is she? Yeah. She's in New York being lies. Oh, wow. wow. How what? cool is that? Well, she's running around dressed as Liza. She's, yeah. That's not why she's there. Is she performing? Yes, she's in the, um, uh, she's in a choir that's touring around. Yeah. Wow. For real. That's camp, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there you go, Ready? You learn something every day, don't you? Not many things leave me speechless, but I'm speechless. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's a good on her. Good on her. So, like, I, Christina, I, I drink to you, sweetheart. Yes. She's drinking water, I'm drinking scotch. Straight scotch. Yeah. No, she, not much coffee. Gay scotch, yeah. please. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have I have uh, a whole lot of guests every week. So we have we've had Christina, uh, Karen from Finance, Rita, um, Sue, Sue Ridge, um, so, uh, Jemima Handful. So I, I guess each 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 time you come, it's a, a different dynamic between. That's I, it. I really enjoyed watching the dynamic between you and Rita tonight. Yeah, I try and try and do a duet with with the guests, at least at least one duet, and then the guests can do you know their own spots. I do spots, and then we play play the game, and it's sort of it's kind of more like a lounge magazine type show. There used to be a lot of drag shows around years ago that were based on that format, that were literally. A couple of drag queens with a microphone talking for half an hour and the crowd in those days was willing to sit and listen and that doesn't happen very often anymore but um, Polly is actually bringing that back which I think is fantastic where drags just sit around and talk shit you know and it's actually funny you know well, it's, I, it's I, kind, of, kind of like 
like what we do in the dressing room. Exactly. We take it on the stage. Take it I really enjoy that aspect. Yeah. yeah. We like to hear who you are no behind the makeup. That. I mean, you know, some of the other clubs, you, you can't do that because they want to dance. I mean, the original, yeah. the original Candy's Club way back, way, 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 way back at 7th Heaven was exactly that. Like, Candy would just be on a microphone with her guests all night talking shit and then occasionally they'd do a number if they felt like it. Like, there was no format to the show. Yeah. Um, and it, it, I think it's actually great to take it back to that. Yes. Because there's nowhere else in town doing that sort of thing. Mm. So it's camp. I mean, that was that. I mean, I just know. sit and casually talk crap. And as, as Polly said, take what we talk about in here and put it out there. Because half the time, what happens in here is funnier than what happens out there, you know? So, yes. You know, and that's like, just you getting changed. Like, no, I'm only joking, Reid, of course. <laughs> you know, like, like, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Little glory. Little oh, glory. glory. Oh, oh. I shouldn't have had that other Valium. Oh, well. <laughs> you can Take have the Valium. <laughs> I've already had your husband. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just camp, old school campery, you know. Um, uh, you know, cause I, I finished working in a venue um, and I just decided I didn't want to do any more production shows, you know. I kind of wanted to... There are a, a lot of hard work. But it's got to go anti, not for any, any other reason, just like I wanted to take it back to its roots, yeah. you know. I mean, you yeah. also concentrate on yourself. Yeah. We all love a good root, Polly. I've always said that. Yeah. Well, I mean, at it, it DT's, it's a, it's a lot more of an intimate crowd. You can see them. It's kind of a, like a lounge, like performing your own. In your half lounge. the time she's yes. had them. Yes. She's had half of them, or if she hasn't, I have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As long as someone's being had, really. <laughs> fun time had to be had by all. We all. But have. I've enjoyed this evening. I've had a fun time. Yeah. I think the dynamic between Tolly, between, between, between Polly and I, <laughs> I shouldn't have had that other value, um, is actually really quite camp. I, I love working with you. Yeah. It's camp. It's fun. Well, I really enjoyed watching you two. Thank you so it's much amazing. for being so you. Come along to Pick a Purse. It's every Thursday night here at DT's. Yes. Um, first show is around about 9.30 ish. And then we take a break between the shows, which is between 10 and however long. You know, Polly is about to become an official real drag queen of Melbourne, which I think is very exciting. Yes. Means I think it's about long. time we get to know you more. I'm going to catch yeah. up with you in a date real day. time soon. When well, I don't sound like a foghorn. And I'm going to ask you a whole heap of probing questions. Oh God. Have you been probed? Endlessly. Several times. <laughs> I love it. I love being probed. Goes in and out. She doesn't even notice it anymore. <laughs> DJ Argonaut, take no. Doesn't touch the sides. Yeah. <laughs> I love being pro. I love it. It's like the Burnley Tunnel. It's like throwing a sausage up Burke Street. I've done that. Okay. Yeah, I sneezed and yeah. Whatever. I went about three feet and I on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and then you went to creative wigs and bought some eyelashes. Yeah, because you can't afford the wig there. You can't afford the wig. <coughs> oh, oh, I I Maybe you can make a wig out of eyelashes. You're very creative, Rita. I'm not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being my guest tonight. I love it. Thank you so much. Mwah. 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 Thank, and you. Th th cold thank you very much for the interview, girls. We'll talk to you again real soon. We've loved it, really, we have. Love your guts. I love it. Bye! Love it, Love it, <laughs>